Hi guys, just a quick tutorial today about how to set up your own personal wireless cloud syncing service for your Kobo e-reader. Now I have the Kobo Aura here, but this should really work for pretty much any Kobo e-reader. And what this is gonna allow you to do is to manage your own library, your own files of books on your computer and have them sort of wirelessly available to your Kobo uh, e-reader device uh, wherever you go. So pretty cool stuff. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is if you don't have it already go ahead and sign up for a Dropbox account and download Dropbox onto your Mac. Once Dropbox is downloaded go ahead and grab a copy of Calibre which is an ebook management software. The next step is you want to go ahead and grab a plugin called Calibre to OPDS. And this is how we're going to take our library that's stored in Dropbox and present it to the web browser on our Kobo. Download the Mac installer. I'm using version 3.3. Download the jar file. The next step is to install Dropbox. Now the Dropbox is downloaded. We want to install Calibre. So go ahead and take the Calibre.dmg file you downloaded, open it up, you'll see a Calibre icon and just drag that into applications. Once you open up Calibre, you'll see a setup wizard here and you're gonna go ahead and change the location of your library to the location of your Dropbox, which is usually located under Users, your username, Dropbox, and we're gonna go public and create a new folder there and I'm gonna call it Library. You can call it whatever you want, books, whatever. Create that and click open. And you'll see that the address here has changed. And next. And finish. So what we've done here is we've created a folder called library in Dropbox. And Dropbox is going to host our Calibre library for us. Because we've created that in the public folder, we're going to be able to share that link and allow other devices and computers to view that library. And that's important because we want our Kobo device to be able to see that library. So the next step is going to be to download our first book. And I've purchased Microsurfs by Douglas Copeland and you want to make sure that that book is in EPUB format if you're going to be reading this on your Kobo. Drag that book or however many books you have into your Caliber library. And you'll see it already has the cover art and some description here, but if it doesn't, a little trick is to click the book title click Edit Metadata and the little arrow next to Edit Metadata and click Download Metadata and Covers and download both. And what that'll do is just automatically download a nice cover for this book as well as a description and all the information about the author. And just click Yes. The nice thing about this method is that once you add that book to your Calibre library, if you go to your Dropbox library folder, you'll actually see that book added automatically. So you can go ahead and delete the original copy of that book on your computer if you want to save space or just don't want the clutter because it'll automatically be in your Dropbox folder. Here's where Calibre to OPDS comes in. Open that jar file, click open, and go through the setup.
Once you've set up Caliber to OPDS, click Done, and go to your Applications, Find Caliber to OPDS. I have two copies because I already had one on my computer, but you'll just have the one. And find the file called OPDS output. It should end in .jar. Double click that. Now, because that's kind of difficult to find, you can create a shortcut for this on your desktop, or I like to just tag this file with a green tag. And that way, whenever I go into this folder, I can easily see which file to open. So once you're in Calibre to OPDS, just take a quick look at the options here. Now remember, what we're doing with this tool is we've got the library in our Dropbox already, but we want to create a library that is presentable to our Kobo device. So we want something that's going to be easily browsable and easy to download books from, right from our Kobo, wirelessly. So you can browse through the options here, and all of these can be customized to your liking. One of the most important options here is under Main, Database Folder. You have to change this to your Dropbox folder where your library is stored. So for me, that's Dropbox Public Library, and then I'll click Open. And you'll notice it's changed here. That's good. Your catalog folder can be called whatever you want. I would keep it as underscore catalog. And another important option here is under advanced. Look at included formats and just make sure it's got everything you want in it. For us, that's going to be EPUB and PDF. Everything else you can keep there, but it won't be that useful for your Kobo. And all these other options you will probably want to customize later once you get a sense of how this works and what it does. If you want to customize how it actually looks on your Kobo, this is how you're going to do it. But for now, I think we're good. So click Save. And then click Generate Catalogs. Great. So the catalog has been generated. What this means is that if you go into Dropbox and you go into that library folder, you'll actually see a new folder here called underscore catalog. Double click that and you'll see all these files. And if you find the file called index.html, you click that, it'll open up a browser and you'll actually be able to browse the books you've got in here. Here I've got the default Calibre Quick Start Guide and Microsurfs. Now, I don't want this Quick Start Guide in my library, so let's go through the process of removing a book. So you want to go to Calibre and click the book title, click Remove Books, OK. Now let's refresh that page and see if it's removed. It's actually not. So the reason for this is that Caliber to OPDS requires that you generate the catalog every time you make a change, or else it won't show up in the browser. So let's click Generate Catalog again, click OK, and now when I refresh the page, it's gone. Okay, so now that I'm all set up with Caliber, the next step is really to find a way to open this browser library on my e-reader. So I'm going to find this index.html file in the catalog folder and right click it and click copy public link. And then I'm going to open some sort of text editor program and paste that link in there. And once I have this link, I'm going to open it on my e-reader. Turn your e-reader on and open up the web browser. I actually have a shortcut to my web browser right on my home screen, but if you don't see that, just go into the menu, settings, there should be beta features, and start the web browser. And type that link that you copied from Dropbox into the URL bar. I apologize, it's a really long link. If you want to use a URL shortener, 
you can go ahead and do that, but I'm just going to type the link manually. Click Go, and if you typed it in correctly, you should see a page that starts with the world's Calibre library. Now, if you don't see this, there are two possible reasons why. One is that you simply typed the URL wrong, so double check that. And the second option is that Dropbox did not yet sync all these files. So go to your Dropbox on your computer, make sure there's that little check mark next to each of the files, and if it's not there yet, make sure you're connected to the internet and give it a little more time to sync, and then try this again. And the first thing you want to do when you're here, of course, is add this page to your favorites so you don't have to type the whole URL in every time. So click the Add to Favorites button, and you can even set the page as your home if you want to do that. Now click the All Books button, and you should see your books here. And so if I click Microserves, there's actually going to be some information about it. It's going to give me the author, it's going to show me the cover, and if you scroll down even further, it'll actually give me a rating, uh, some tags, and a summary of the book, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to scroll back up and to get this on my device, I'm going to click the download this ebook as EPUB link. Kobo will pop up, click continue. It'll say download complete, and I can click close if I want. Go home and just show you guys that there it is, it shows up as new. Let's click it. And there it is. Pretty cool. Now that this is all set up, you can do this with all your books. Um, so your whole library should be in Calibre. There are some tools to get your Amazon books into Calibre, but just make sure that that is a legal option in your jurisdiction before you do that. Um, and make sure you click that Generate button in Calibre to OPDS after every change you make in Calibre, just to make sure that it's all synced up so that when you're on the go and you want to wireless, wirelessly download some books in your library, all those changes are all reflected. So I want to close out with just a couple quick pro tips for the Caliber 2 OPDS application that will kind of make the interface on your Kobo a little bit nicer. So the first tweak I want to make is go into Catalog Structure, and I want to not generate the Series Catalog or the ratings catalog. Um, I'm going to keep recent and all books because those are useful to me, but I'm also going to check do not generate the tags catalog, the uh, about caliber to OPDS entry. The last thing I'm going to do is click this browse by cover mode. Make sure that's checked. I think that just makes the interface a little bit nicer. It shows you all the thumbnail covers of your books as opposed to showing you the list view of the book with the title and the author. So again, that's up to you, but I think it makes it a little bit nicer. And just make sure you save your changes and generate the catalogs. And you should be good to go.